Best combination of introductions I've ever had. He's a star man. Well played, thank you so much. And uh, Jeremy, uh, your midrash to introduce the significance of this building and the opportunities that it opens by relating it to the uh, Mishkan, it was just fantastic. And Josh, your eruditeness, your ability to communicate was just on demonstration there. I should say that I worked with Josh on the electricity project, but other projects. And I remember that evening at Scotch College really very, very well because it, it was a significant change in my life. Uh, I was walking out of the building, you were walking with, in with Sir Zelman Cowan's widow, Anna Cowan, and we knew each other and we said hello. And then you started to walk to your seat and you turned around and you went, Alan, I have to speak to you <laughs> later. And at 20 to 11 that night, you called to say that you were just finished a phone call with the Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, that there was a crisis out there with the electricity system. Did I even know about it, you asked me? I said, I'm right across it. And you said that you've spoken to the Prime Minister, there needs to be a review, and Alan, we think you should chair it. And as I started to re reply, you said, and I'm so tired, and you hung up on me. <laughs> so we'll take that as a default yes, and I thank you so much for the opportunity. Look, I want to start by addressing the title of today's event, The Quantum in Quantum Kabbalah. It emerged mysteriously from the school. I checked. It turns out it was an unprompted idea generated by the college principal, Jeremy Stolinda. I imagine that the word appeared like a pulse of quantum energy in Jeremy's cerebral cortex. <laughs> but Jeremy, why did Jeremy think of this? Did he know that literally the previous month I had chaired the very first meeting of the Australian Centre Australian Centre of Excellence in Quantum Biotechnology? I asked, he didn't know. Or perhaps the word quantum was lurking in Jeremy's mind because of the incredible contribution of Jewish scholars to, the, to quantum theory. The most extraordinary, quantum theory is literally the most bizarre and extraordinary theory in physics. Think of names, the Jewish scholars, Albert Einstein, Niels Bohr, Max Born, Wolfgang Pauli, Richard Feynman, Ed Witten, and Murray Gell-Mann. We will never know what popped the, popped the word quantum into Jeremy's mind, but, but here we are. Now, in, in contrast to the agreeable mysteries of the mind, we have to acknowledge that we're living in catastrophic times for Israel and across the Middle East and for all of us in the diaspora. Amidst the backdrop of tragedy and uncertainty, it is essential that we double down on the most important task for nation building and for a better future. And of course, I am referring to providing the best possible education to our children. Helping our children to understand the principles of clear thinking, morality and philosophy. It's an obligation on us. Working with them to build their skills in music, art, sport and drama and teaching them the essential skills with which to understand the world around them and participate to the full. The essential skills required include English, history, maths and science. In their totality, mastering the skills that they learn at school will ensure that our children live full lives, contribute to society and can, and can interpret evidence to distinguish truth from fiction. The responsibility to provide a broad and excellent education is the driving force that motivates all the amazing staff at Bialik College. It motivates the parents and grandparents and other supporters of Bialik. It also motivates me. After completing a working career culminated by running a biotechnology company in Silicon Valley, 
I discovered the joy of helping to expand the reach of science education. Nearly 20 years ago, I established a school science program that is delivered by the Australian Academy of Technology and Engineering, and I established a postdoctoral education program delivered by the Australian Society for Neuroscience. And both of those programs, I'm delighted to say, are still active in Australian schools and universities. And my biggest personal contribution to the education commitment, that began 12 years ago with the establishment and operation of Style Education. I must say that being associated with teaching is fulfilling. And for students, if we get it right, learning can be fun. Two weeks ago, I came here to the Alan Finkel Launch Lab and I joined a lesson about the blood circulation system in which teacher Bianca Janova, she launched the students into an hour of spirited conjecture and achievement. It was just fantastic. It was a fruitful combination of fun and learning. I walked into another class downstairs where the Makerspace facilitator, facilitator Andreas Camel, was guiding enchanted students through the basic physics of a catapult, using that ancient device to launch the students into the world of problem solving. More fun and learning. Bianca, Andreas, and their fellow teachers, they don't work alone. They are supported by management, by lab technicians, parents and donors. I admire each and every one of you for all that you do. The Alan Finkel Launch Lab is an ecosystem of science and technology teaching. Within that ecosystem are labs and facilities supported by, and I'm going to go through a list here really quickly, but it's worth going through, supported by the Beaconsfield, Blaschke, Burston, Carp, Fried, Goldsmith, Goldstone, Greenglass, Kornhauser, Landau, Lasky, Maymoff, Schwartz, Smorgan and Zentel families. We are all working together on the common cause of excellence in education. On a wall in the launch lab over there, there's a spiral rendition of the periodic table where numerous Bialik College supporters have associated themselves with individual elements. My wife, Elizabeth, who joins me in her passionate commitment to science communication, education excellence, and the launch lab in particular, is the proud associate of Element 67. Any kids know what Element 67 <laughs> is? It's Holmium. Besides being used in medical lasers for eye surgery, Holmium is also used in nuclear reactors to keep the chain reaction under control. Perhaps she'll use it to keep me under control, I don't know. <laughs> My sons, Alex and Victor, who are here today, are equally committed to education excellence. And we're currently in the discussion about which of the remaining few elements on that element board on the wall over there they would like to be associated with. Now, for everything that I do that is complicated in life, I reach out to my nephew, David Lambert, a Bialik father and my business partner. David, thank you for all that you have done to facilitate the designation of the Alan Finkel launch lab. There are so many other people to thank. Josh, I already spoke to you, but my thanks to you for your passion, your passion for our community and for your leadership of our country. Jeremy, thank you for taking me on multiple facility tours <laughs> and for your leadership, excuse me, and inspiring Elizabeth and me with your vision. Michael Karp, Chair of the Bialik Foundation, to you and to your fellow members of the Foundation, my thanks for your appreciation of the importance of the learning environment. Hannah Wallen, thank you for your constant support and diligence. To all of you, thank you. And to present and future students, I trust that you'll be launched into the future, filled with understanding and capability, cultivated in a launch lab that is as good as any in the world. Hey, hey. May the force be with you. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. <laughs>